Now the campaign to free our journalists has plenty of traction online. Kamal Santa Maria has been looking into that first. What yeah. have you found? Well, Kamal? it's a shame we have to be doing this today, isn't it, Jane? But uh, if we do have to, at least we can have lots of support from people online. We've been thousands of tweets today, and I've just picked up a few visuals just earlier on. Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance in Redfern in Sydney. Lovely big mural of Peter Grest has been painted on the wall there, and a lot of people have been stopping by to snap pictures of that. Uh, this is the ABC newsroom in London. It's International Newsroom in London. Familiar face on the right hand side one of our old journalists Hamish McDonald part of the uh, free AJ stuff hashtag campaign then there's one more picture I brought out this is from someone called Amy Feldman who lives in Melbourne and she's put together a whole montage of a lot of the important moments uh, right throughout the you know on-air moments politicians speaking Peter's parents all these sorts of things into a montage so if you're making things like that please send them through to me um, you know keep them coming have a look at the trends map just now uh, I've been monitoring this today and it's, I must say, and I think we have to take into account that it is a holiday period for a lot of parts of the world. But still, this is where the free AJ staff hashtag is trending. It's strong in the United States and will get stronger now that it's 6am in the morning. Europe is building because there's a protest in London in about an hour's time and we hope to see uh, the London hashtag really come out. And then down here where Peter Grest is from Australia, it's very strong as well. You know, 160,000 contributors. Since the hashtag came into being, there's been 160,000 people tweeting about it, 460,000 tweets or retweets at a rate of about 9,500 per week. So that's great work from everyone and we appreciate all of that. If you have a look at YouTube, you have a look at our YouTube page actually, this is a video which was put together by our team here, but it's worth having a look just to remember how far this goes back and all the people who've been involved. There was William Hague, the UK Foreign Secretary at the time, Christian Amanpour from CNN, Jay Carney, he was the White House uh, Press Secretary at the time. So all these things, all these events build up to today being one year. A lot's happened. Of course, the one thing we want to have happened, and that is the release of Peter, Baha and Muhammad, has not happened. Let's just have a look at aljazeera.com very quickly. I want you to go to this page, the Free AJ Staff page, which has got a whole lot of up-to-date information, including, including the reports which the Egyptians brought into question. You can look at them for yourself, share them around your friends and your social networks, and get them to decide for themselves if there's anything wrong with our reporting. We put it up there for everyone to see, and if there's something which you've seen today, if you're going to the protests, particularly the one in London, but there are other ones elsewhere, do send me a tweet at Kamal AJE is where you can send your photos, videos, any contributions you've got, please send them in.